Hello and welcome to lesson number 23 in this uh, Rhino 6 tutorial. Today we're going to cover the pipe command. Okay, now, right now I'm in the top view. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the top view and move over to my perspective view. Double click on that. And now you can see we have our text over here on the left. We also have a few other things. We have a line or a curve technically, as well as uh, two other curves. Okay. Now, what you need to create a pipe, and a pipe is basically exactly what it sounds like, a tube or a dowel. There's also a command called tube. You can look into that if you'd like. But what we need to start with is a single curve. It can be a straight curve or a line or a complex or a curved curve. Okay. Now, what the pipe command will do is it'll basically start with a curve and then give you um, a round uh, tube-like extrusion. Okay. So, there's a couple different ways to find that. You can go up here to the solid menu and you can go down and you can find the tube and the pipe. Tube will give you a tube, pipe will give you something that's closed. Okay. Another way to do it is it can be found here in this particular menu. Uh, and then the way I generally do it is just type in P-I-P-E, enter, right? Once you've typed in the command pipe, P-I-P-E, go ahead and read the command line. It says select a rail. So I'm going to go ahead right here. The rail refers to a curve. So I'm going to select a curve. And then now it gives me a couple options. It can say, it can either say um, select a radius or input a radius. The default here is one. I'm going to say, what if we want a radius to be three? And if I hit enter again, the next radius it assumes I want is also going to be three. So I can go ahead and if I just hit enter, Notice it shows me where it's going to start the tube or the pipe and where it's going to end the, end the pipe. And I'll go ahead and I'll hit enter and enter again. And there we go. Now I have a pipe and it is in um, wireframe mode. So it doesn't really uh, look that great. So I'm going to go ahead, go up here to my triangle and I'm going to go to ghosted. And there we go. Now we can see I actually have a pipe. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, delete this pipe and I'm going to show you this uh, another way all right so I'll once again type in pipe p-i-p-e enter and then it'll say select the rail here's the rail I can drag the rail to whatever size I want so I can make it small at the beginning large at the end and then reading the command line uh, I could of course put a third rail in there like that so it'll basically go from this size to that side to that size and smaller there and I can once I'm done I can go ahead and hit enter enter and there you see I can get kind of an interesting something or other in the pipe command alright I'm gonna go ahead and select that and delete it I'm gonna run that command again to select the rail and this time my radius I'm just gonna type in 2 and I'm gonna hit enter and before I hit enter again, actually there, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and there now it gives me a nice, fine, two-inch uh, wide pipe. I'm going to uh, repeat this command, and now it's going to say up here, uh, select the rail. So I'm going to select the rail, and this time where it says cap equals flat, I'm going to type in or select the cap flat, and then from there I get an option where I can say none, right? And then if I just hit enter and enter again, I will end up having an open pipe that is uh, two, two inches across. So watch. Now when I hit enter, you can see there I actually have um, an interesting pipe. It's, it is uh, closed. Or it, rather, it's open. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. And we're going to run this command again. Select the curve. You can do one of two things. You can select the curve and then run the command, or you can run the command and select the curve. With the curve selected, first, Rhino knows that I'm uh, whatever command I enter is going to be performed on that particular curve. So uh, here I can hit enter. And right up here where it says cap is none, I'm going to go ahead and say cap is round. And now I can say enter and enter again. And there you can see it gives me a slightly longer um, tube. Okay. Now, I can perform that option 
on a curvy curve as well, or a control point curve. So I can select the curve. I can hit enter. And I'm going to say my radius is going to be 1 this time. Enter and enter again. And I can get a curvy pipe. Now it's very important that when you're doing this, that your pipe radius is smaller than the radius of your curve here, right? So you can see here we've got some very small curves. And we've also got some areas where the curve is very close to itself, right? And what's going to happen, it'll run the pipe command, but it's going to intersect. All right, so I'm going to select this curve, and I'm going to hit Enter, and Enter again. And what's going to happen is we're going to get a bit of a hot mess. Okay, and we did. So it looks pretty good, but you can see right in here, we've got this kink. Okay, that is not something that is uh, good to have happen. So what you'd have to do is you'd either have to turn on your control points, delete a few of those, simplify that curve quite a bit there we go and then run that command again right or you'd have to reduce the radius of your pipe okay that in a nutshell is a very very quick introduction to the pipe command I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there and I will see you in the next lesson